Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, I believe you guys hear it now. Definitely you hear it now. Okay. Nobody can say you don't hear it now. Anyway, oh. we to say you hear it now, that means you get your problem. So, Eta, what were you saying? Okay, let's just take it back for guys who are coming now, okay? Eta gave points, mm -hmm, like my first mm -hmm. point about the role of a fan was a real fan is supposed to put guys on, the guys who surround him, onto the artist he follows, okay? The artist he's a fan mm -hmm. of. He needs to put guys around them onto that artist. That's the first thing a fan needs to do, mm -hmm. okay? When you're listening to it, mm -hmm. it's good that your friends know that, okay, I like this guy, give them a try, like, listen to it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Maybe you may win them over. Maybe you may not, but just the fact that you're putting guys onto him, okay? It's a true mm -hmm. job of a fan, okay? That's a real job of a fan. And it has said something about um, the brand. Boycotting brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brands which speak up about your your fan your sorry brands who speak up about your artists who you you feel like they did wrong to your artists boycotting those brands to make them know that you know what without Salatiel okay, fans it, uh, you no, are not going to be good, financially good, successful. I think. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, and. Uh, Something just came in my mind and it just left my mind now. Anyway, so yeah, I was just talking about the whole boycotting thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So yeah, I was just talking about the whole boycotting thing. Yeah, I, I want to reiterate about that point again because I feel like a lot of fans believe that, let me say, if Salatiel says something about MTN or if Jovi or any other person or Daphne, the, a brand put her image when they were not supposed to and mm. they go online and speak, speak, speak about it. Like, I don't think that's what really impacts those companies. Like, if you brand and you still go and buy your credit, and you still go to, let me say, a restaurant, and you still buy some clothes, some brands, which uh, those your artist has spoken about, mm -hmm. I don't think those brands will really get the, the like, feel it yeah. or feel the impact the of an okay. artist being mad at them. Uh, uh -huh. And, yeah, the, the value of this artist, yeah, of the fan base of this artist. So, for me, it's true that something like MTN or Camtel or these other services, which you they are kind of like monopoly due to the fact that you don't have a lot of diversity, and mm -hmm. you're like, if I if I don't use MTN, where am I going to go? Or all this all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like sometimes it's, you don't really have a choice. But there are other things which um, artists pick up about, which you might have a choice and you can still boycott and still leave. It would just be a nice thing to do, boycott this place mm -hmm. and say, you know what, we're not even going to run so much. We're just going to stop using you so you know that you offend Salatiel, you offend us all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great point. And for some of you mm -hmm. guys, uh, you heard the, my first point, Anita's first point. You can tell us what you think or what you think is the role of a fan, okay? Everybody mm -hmm. watching right now or listening right now because I think the thing is frozen, especially my camera is frozen. I don't know why, mm. but for mm. all you guys watching or listening right now, you can drop uh, what you think because I can read every comment, okay? I can see everybody. So tell us what you think. Now let's move to the next point, okay? My second point. Mm. My second point was that support the artist financially. Even if you, mm -hmm. I'm not saying you guys should create a GoFundMe and donate to the artist. Every time he drops a project that needs purchase, you guys should purchase it, okay? Every mm -hmm. time you organize a show that requires you guys to go there, you guys should attend it. Every time he yeah. has like merchandise online when release an album, like somebody like Malox and Malox did it, Malox, Loco and Teno, they, all of them did it when they release projects. When you see yeah. all these guys here, when, when, when all of them do ventures like this, if you can't get both, if you can't get the album and the merchandise, get one. The album or the merchandise mm. whatever you can get that will support the artist like mm -hmm. you put money in his pocket you ask that he will have finance to produce yeah. the content that he has been producing and made you like him for okay that will put money in his pocket you mm -hmm. motivate him you'll make him to wake up every morning wake up every morning and say okay i know this thing that i'm doing like this it helps me pay my bill i know i spend money and i spend time to record music and put it online and i attach a check or a, or attach uh, a tag to it, a price tag to it. And these guys actually, they support it. Like very few, even if just 100, 200 of you guys support it, it puts money in my pocket. And I have money to pay my bills. Mm. I have money to drive to the studio. If you don't have a studio at home, it will motivate them to keep on doing it. 
Anne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Eric said something. I think being a fan means promoting the music of his artists every day, supporting him all, mm -hmm. <laughs> supporting him in all these clashes, and also by buying his album, streaming his music, and participating in concerts. Yeah, it goes to what I just said. Yeah. You see. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Eric, I disagree with you on one point like supporting him in all his beefs. Like, it depends on the brand or the artist brand. If that's a negative guy or you support this guy negatively, then it goes now to the point when you said uh, you gave your third point and I had to back it up. Like, what mm -hmm. was your third point for the guys that never heard it at talk? Like, wasn't hearing it at unconditional like, love. Yeah, like if he does anything, mm -hmm. should you guys support him unconditionally, even if he's wilding out? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my reply to that was, nah, the clashes you're talking about, I don't know if it is a positive clash like the ones that I had with MTN, yeah, you can support him on that one, okay? You guys can mm -hmm. boycott, or if it is a clothing brand, you guys can stop wearing it. If it is a beverage or an alcohol, you guys can stop drinking mm -hmm. it, then they'll feel the impact of those guys behind you, okay? But it's something mm -hmm. like a beef or controversy or talking shit about, a, uh, about somebody or a brand for no good reason, I don't think you should support that kind of a movement or support that kind of a thing, okay? You guys should uh, check him. Don't feel ashamed. Don't think that if you're checking your artist, your favorite artist, you're a backstabber, like... A new term guys use now like black leg yeah don't think if you're going against your favorite artist you're you're not a true fan you simply want his best because the way brands work is if they see an artist propagating negative energy okay and his fans support him they don't see him now as a business move they don't see him as a lucrative venture they see him as a gang leader okay propagating negative okay. energy and most brands like um you can have beers you can have um, clothes clothing brands you can have like um, clubs you can have like hotels like so many companies they will not like to associate that name with that negative energy like a stigma because one the brand is also afraid of his uh, reputation okay if he associates himself with that kind of negative energy that kind of negative person that's why i'm allowed to have any brand deals you see because mm -hmm. he has reputation it will scare away their investors because most of these big companies, they have investors. That's why you have Forex. You say company goes public, you see. They are scared like their investors who say they don't want to put their money behind somebody negative because they are scared that other guys will be scared of that negative energy and they will not make a return. So don't be scared to see mm -hmm. when your artist is going left, like starting like controversy with somebody else, another artist, and you just feel like you should support him unconditionally and you'll be grateful for it. You'll be beneficial for him. It will make you feel good at a moment that you're the tough guy, you're the big guy, you have the core following. But in the long run, on a business standpoint, you're doing the wrong thing. That's why you see Stanley not having the Samsung deals, endorsements. That's why you see, because he does not reply to controversy. He knows what he's doing. He, maybe he has a great PR team, somebody that tells him, bruh, just swallow it, okay? Just swallow it and move forward because when we go... Yeah. yeah, but you mentioned Stanley Eno, right? Mm -hmm. I Stanley Eno, I don't think Stanley Eno fans don't um clash with people when they talk bad about Stanley. We really know like his brother like mm -hmm. goes wild at anybody who talks bad about Stanley Eno. But Stanley like Stanley Eno himself Eno's brother, so, not Stanley. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying, right? I'm saying that like I'm saying like Jovi, maybe Jovi doesn't respond, but his fans like his fans could oh, respond if they want to, but maybe Jovi. I'm just saying that, yeah, I'm just saying that the what scares away the brands is not the fans basically responding to this. It is mostly when the artists themselves engage in the whole conflict and the back and forth. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my observation. Yeah. Yeah, so you as the artist in particular, you, when the artist, like what you said is unconditional love if the artist is going left like when he propagates mm -hmm. or when he instigates the negative energy or the beef should the fans ride with him ride or die with him mm. yeah it depends on who or what they are riding against you see mm -hmm. yeah so that's just what i was saying is there anything else anybody yeah. else anything and eric thank you for your contribution yeah Thank and you. that just gave us a lot to talk about that just gave us something to put light on like everything anybody says here is it makes sense. You as a fan, you're a fan of like all of you, you have Cameroon artists that you support. Even most of you, maybe you listen to foreign artists like Nigerian artists, everybody. You as a fan, 
okay if you consider yourself a true fan what do you think is a role of a fan drop in the comment mm -hmm. box below we are seeing it it's live we'll reply to you instantly okay thank you eric mm -hmm. yeah so um your point which you mentioned was um always support your artists financially and mm -hmm. while you're talking while you're reiterating something just came to my mind like you have this american artist that they they drop their album and within the first day it goes to the top of the chart within the first day they sell like crazy and like they drop their merch and sold out mm -hmm. so like when brands hear those kind of things it encourages brands to know that okay if we put this person's name if we link ourselves to this individual mm -hmm. then we are going to make the finance because at the end of the day for so this brand these companies they are, it's a business at the end of the day so they want yeah. to see that if i'm working with this artist i'm going to make the finance so mm -hmm. if this artist does their own thing and the fans don't support and mm -hmm. they don't hear it sold out and they don't hear some crazy kind of numbers then they are like if their fans cannot even buy their own merch then why would i want to link myself to this because like what exactly. financial advantage would that give me yeah exactly. so as a, as, a, as a fan yeah no finish you can finish there yeah, so, so, so as a fan, always be ready to put in that finance because the more you put in the finance, the more finance your, your artists will be able to have and mm -hmm. the more encouraged they will be to keep on doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Just before you go, I just I've just remembered something like um, Tila. Mm -hmm. She tweeted was it yesterday or day after yesterday? She tweeted saying she she wants to drop a book or album and fans to support her financially mm -hmm. to drop that album. And a lot of people came at her. You know the usual thing when ex Nobel artists talk yeah. about money or finance. A lot of people oh. commenting say, "You see, you see, Jovi Jovi was helping you. You left. Now <laughs> so what happened to you? Go and beg go 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 like that was." <laughs> in the comment section they were like okay we'll say mm -mm. go on big book go you see you see a life now bro and it was, yeah <laughs> it was sometimes crazy. yeah sometimes it goes with um like what you said about the artist dropping um an album and it sells out like it sells it goes to the top of the charts and all that thing it goes to promotion mm -hmm. what do you do before you release the album like sometimes you have fans quite all right but not every fan is online all the time when you drop the album mm. so you have to build anticipation before dropping the album make it make your fans know on this day we need to show up for him okay on this day the album is coming out we need to show up we need to stream it we need to take it to the top of the charts so sometimes mm. it's not only just the job of the fans because the fans have lives okay they live their yeah. own life they have things to do but yeah. when you make them know something is coming before that day at least they'll make out some time to say okay i like this guy and i want to see him grow this day i will show up and stream his music so it mm -hmm. also goes to the support sometimes yeah. the fans can't support you if you don't give them the opportunity to do the it. chance to yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah but um talking somewhere about that point of maybe it's not the promote you don't do a good job promoting mm -hmm. now I, I don't think there's any artist who drops a song without putting it on instagram putting it on their twitter or mm -hmm. like like most of them do that promotion but I feel like sometimes the promotion might not be enough. And I want to talk, is it is it that in Cameroon we don't have enough um, streams of promotion? We don't have enough resources that people could use for promotion of their of their content? Because what most artists do is their it's social media platform. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. Now, what more can artists do to promote their content to have a wider response? one is linking up with guys who have bigger platforms than you that's one thing even mm -hmm. if the guy does not have a big platform but linking up with guys who have different fans from yours like the more people you connect with the more diverse the more you're rich okay mm. the more people you connect to the more you're rich so what i'm saying is when they just share it on their facebook page or they share it on groups they are simply revolving around the same kind of people Mm. okay so when you release that album if they have the the, bo the the boost that they needed or the humongous amount of views they wanted to get it's um, it's as a result of lack of marketing strategy mm -hmm. yeah so that one goes to ask how can you do that okay first of all start with having a personal relationship with bloggers or djs that's a basic thing everybody always talk about that bloggers or djs okay so 
the next one is have a good relationship with your fellow artists like guys who have big fan base like you because that will go a long way mm -hmm. even though when you drop your project not all your fans will stream it the same way not all your fans will stream theirs but at least some of their fans will stream your project that's another way of getting it for me the most important way is to drop any it goes to any businessman especially guys yeah. who do marketing with products merchandising or sell entertainment okay if you have to drop um anything like a merchandise an album or anything find anybody in that same field that has the same niche as you if you're an artist go with mm. music if you're a, if you're an actor go with actors or directors or producers make friends with them so the day you drop that project they will share it and introduce your fans to it so mm -hmm. having the right relationship in the business is another great marketing move that's free okay you just have to be mm -hmm. liked by them just make yourself likable by them and that's a great marketing move it's free you don't pay for it mm -hmm. The next one is have marketers, like guys who know marketing on social media or on digital platforms. Have guys who know that very well. Mm. That helps too. Yeah. Okay. Do you think um, TV and radio appearances help in this day and age where a lot of people are online? Mm. Yes and no. Yes. Okay. Yes, depending of, on your demographic, your age group. Mm -hmm. Because older people still watch TV, they still watch the news, they see our favorite shows that they watch on the news, like telenovelas or news or mm -hmm. documentaries, you know? So if your demographic like this, Renee's new album that she dropped, the best place to promote mm -hmm. in Cameroon is CRTV, where older people watch news, Tam Tam Weekend and all the rest. <clears throat> STV, mm -hmm. like all TV stations in Cameroon, and local radio stations that or bars that you have. Yeah. Yeah, these older people, like when I talk about older, I'm talking about 45 or 40 and above. Yeah, 45, because 40 is not old, mm -hmm. like 45 and above, like elder, somebody who lived during that generation. Who understood yes. what it is yeah so it depends on your demographic tv is good but when you're going to this hype these millennials or these guys who are pumped with energy okay when you're going through if you, if that's your demographic yeah the internet is the sure place for you to be that's where you need mm -hmm, to go mm -hmm. yeah yeah why, why i ask this question because as you're talking about the promotion there are a lot of artists who come to canal day to promote their their songs and most of them are younger artists mm -hmm. who i feel like their demographic is the younger audience so mm -hmm. every time they come like it's true we struggle we promote their song we talk about their song we play their music but at the back of my mind i'm always wondering are we really doing good like mm -hmm. I, yeah I, do, do you do you really do you see that increase in the number of views on YouTube? Yeah. Is that your appearance on TV translated to your views and your subscriptions? Like, I I always I always wonder, and I think I need to ask one of those artists. Like after an appearance, like one week after, like did it really help? Because I'm just curious. Because like I might tell, what tell you, does. I hardly watch TV. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you what that thing does. Even you, you are you 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 have a show on TV, but you barely watch TV. <laughs> you see. Hardly. Yeah, you see, Hardly. that's it. So, okay, this is how this thing goes. The reason, or let me give you the mindset behind artists who go on TV or radio station, okay? When they were growing up, they used to watch celebrities on TV and radio stations and their mm -hmm. family members or everybody surrounding them, like square guys, they believe that when you appear on TV or when they hear you over the radio station, your level has changed, like you're no longer among them. Okay? yeah so the reason is just to make everybody around them to believe that what they are doing can actually put them on a platform where they used to see the people they idolize on i'm mm -hmm. not saying it's doing some it's doing more for their brand or it can make somebody like around their hood like some big brother who has a big business when they see them on tv or hear them over the radio they'll say boy I don't see and see the two do so at least he gets more potential then he may call him and say I'll give you this ten thousand to go and record or mm -hmm. give you this money. Sometimes they do that thing to get validation from the people around their city, like the older men, mm -hmm. like the elders who watch TV. Like when they see them, they'll just believe that okay, yes, this is what he's doing. It's not actually translating to streams. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is just yeah. to appease those guys whom you know that watch TV and make change your the perspective the way they see you. You know, because mm -hmm. first of all, look looking like a star is the first step towards becoming a star. True. Yeah. So when you appear True. on the platforms where stars appear on, it gives it helps change your perspective and make people support you even though they never supported you even though they are guys who don't stream or yeah but you feel the physical like daily or interaction among the people you're used to you feel the change in the interaction that's just for it mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. because of the streams and the rest yeah yeah i i remember um it was last week i i was having this discussion with somebody and we were talking about a celebrity who has a very huge following online who um comes to the tv and always takes it very seriously mm -hmm. i was like so why like i i feel like when you have a huge following online it's not like I, I don't see the advantage the upper hand you have mm -hmm. um by coming or uh, having a show on tv like mm -hmm. i feel like everybody's digital with everybody online these days then um she opened my eyes I, I realized that a lot of people who are online might like your comment might like your post share your videos do all the good things the streaming, which we want to post believe, yeah. online yeah but the finance the finance they are not the people who buy the city they are not exactly. the people who invite you to some big parties they are not yeah. the people who like they are not people who are going to give you a lot of financial opportunity mm -hmm. so if you want both ends of that, then you have to see how to tackle the online presence and even the offline presence because mm. the money spenders are offline. Yeah, the money spenders are offline. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't. Um, yeah, that's it. Because those who actually because they don't even have time to be online, they have time. They are yeah. busy making their money. They are busy working. But the guys who are online, the followers you have, those are the guys who are who wants the the instant gratification like they just want to be the first to listen to it even without buying it you see mm. yeah but those guys help when it comes to streams those guys help when yeah. it comes to making brand deals some kind of brand deal because sometimes they use your following online to give you a brand deal mm. yeah brand deals con nowadays companies consider that if you don't have a at least a reasonable amount combined on all your social media platforms you don't have above 200k then it'll be difficult for you to have a brand deal yeah so they take that into consideration but the guys that mm -hmm. go on tv are the guys that want to gain respect from the guys around them who see them and they don't believe that what they do can actually put them on that platform can actually take them on tv and those are the guys who may be the, the few guys like a a man who may have an electronic shop and he's one of those guys you know when growing up there were some kind of guys in the in your street like the quarter like that's a big brother he has a carpentry workshop he has a this he has a this he has small money in his hands but when you see all these other kids trying to do music it seems like they are wasting their life but that man actually goes back to his house in the evening to watch tv after taking his bath eating watching news or his favorite series when he finally sees you on tv and is one of those kind of guys that say Boy, I see you for TV. That's what they do as well. Fine, take the 2,000 Hoya skin, take the 10,000 Hoya skin. The reason they go mm. on TV is to change the perspective of the guys who, who watched them, who actually looked at them and mm. thought they were not actually doing anything with their lives. I just believe that's the reason they go on TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but although we have directed, we are now we're talking about promotion status and all that, but I yeah. think it's all in line, like to get the fan. To get the fans, you need to be you need to be constantly promoting yourself. And you, you as an artist, I think one thing which should be constant in your agenda should be growth. So you always want to grow, so you mm. never stop promoting. You keep on aspiring for greater heights. Yeah. Mm. So um, I don't know. Like I feel like we've exhausted this topic. Yeah, we have exhausted and the topic. One, so anybody watching this again, if you're watching this again, you drop your remarks in the comment box below. I'll be here to reply. Okay. What? Mm -hmm. are the roles of a real fan we just put what mm -hmm. is the role i think everybody you just have to drop one role <laughs> we're supposed to say what are <laughs> the roles so many things yeah yeah like, what is fan. the role if you have just one like eric gave almost all the roles he thought were necessary for a real mm -hmm. fan okay so for a fan a good fan so eric gave mm. everything so if you're watching this video after this live stream 
just drop it in the comment box below and reply okay so after watching this i think this is what we need to be doing every day when we end so next time when we come online you guys should know like the next topic of the next episode like you see we should let them know what we'll be talking about next episode before yeah. the next episode else okay dealing with hate yeah comments. like how do you deal with oh hate comments? yeah that'll be the next topic we'll be talking about okay on mm -hmm contrast podcast so thank you guys for watching yeah. if you're here for the first time click that subscribe button down the for the Willie Town family and the next um, tomorrow I think tomorrow will be still on Willie Town okay that'll be the mm -hmm. topic of tomorrow how do artists deal with negative or hate comments okay yeah. yeah that's just how it's going to be so talking about this topic every time you share this uh, podcast you share you use hashtag contrast podcast you have the chance to win five thousand. I'll be doing it live every day. Every day we go live. The winners during that week, I'll be giving them. I'll just call their names. Then they put their number there. I send them the money. Then you delete it because you don't want your number to be online. So when you receive the money, you delete it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how we'll be doing every week. We'll be giving out the cash prize for those who will win. So the next topic. Um, for next episode is how do you deal with hate how to deal with hate comments or negative energy online so Ita, mm -hmm. anything you have to add um yeah so I, I i think um i'm happy we actually spoke about this topic because sometimes <laughs> it feels like i remember one time we we're talking about how sometimes it feels like we're fighting against the artists who are, we're trying to promote that we're trying to work with mm -hmm. so i i yeah, I'm happy we are talking about this topic. So it's like good fans, which is something in line with how to help artists like get these good fans and the fans who are already there, like how to become better. Yeah. And like you said, like we are going to be live like almost every day of the week. Yeah. I think just two days, three days when we are not live. So yeah. um, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday on um, Chakara TV. So in case you have not subscribed to Chakara TV, go check out Chakara TV. Subscribe if you want to follow our contrast um Podcast. our contrast journey yeah, yeah. <laughs> now on <laughs> yeah. on thursday and friday we're yeah. going to be in molly town and like you said tomorrow we're talking about how to deal with hate comments it's not just going to be about access how to deal with hate comments it's going to be both of us right we've also gotten hate comments like yeah. there are some hate Ooh. comments which has gotten to, to to me like deep in my soul like how did i deal with that we're going to be talking about all of that yeah, yeah. tomorrow so make sure <laughs> you are here yeah. same time yeah an interesting week interesting segment yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody will be talking. You see, guys are now coming online when we are about oh. ending the show. You see, it's now that everybody, yeah, you guys are coming online when we are about ending the show. So, the topic of next week, if you're coming now, okay, and you see the topic, maybe if you drop a comment, you may get us to talk tomorrow. About. Topic of tomorrow, yeah. Too long. Maybe the thing is already too long now because it's almost mm -hmm. 50 minutes. How many minutes have we been going for? 50. 50? Minutes, yep. So wow. we've been talking for That's almost an really hour. Long. Should we just round it up to an hour? <laughs> because guys are coming online now to contribute to the show. But if you're just here right now, just let us know you're here watching, okay? Yeah, just uh -huh. let us know you're here watching or listening. I know the video is shit. It's cracking up. Because I'm using... Yeah, I know yeah, for mine, I'm using a Canon camera. So it's weighing the, the quality that is given to the... OBS is heavy. That's why mine is acting like this. So I have to, yeah, I have to set it up. And this is the first time I'm using the camera for, to do live stream. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tomorrow, I believe next time, the 